Okay, hello everyone. Um, if you're watching this, you probably want to find out what this Band of Brothers script does, or you've already downloaded it and want to see how all the buttons work. So um, if you got it installed correctly, you should have this Bob button, the Band of Brothers, all right? And if you click it, this menu should pop up. If you got your uh, bitmap in the good location, you should have this icon here. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So um, first off, how does my mesh look? Well, it's uh, made of multiple objects. Um, it will bend whatever you have in your selection. So you, it's okay for you to use multiple objects. It will work. Um, but you can also do it on one, all right? So uh, first off, we have our axis. So our axis will uh, set in which direction we will duplicate and bend. So if you, for example, say X and we say duplicate amount two, he's going to duplicate this plane two more times in the X direction, which is this direction, right? And he will bend it over the X axis. So if I press bend, and you see, it's bent the plane um, correctly. But I'm like, no, I would rather do it on the Y axis. Then you just hit the revert button. And then Y and bend it. All right. And uh, if you've done that, uh, it should work fine. Um, and if we look back at our um, props, we still have our separate objects in there. So you can feel free to edit them um, for example this one made this out of a spline um, I could go and like for example move it like this and then you see it's also updating over here as they have all been instanced which can be very useful right um, but if you change something here and you revert of course it's all one instance so you won't revert to your original the plane will have been changed right so um, let's bend again all right and after we made a bend you'll notice that we are actually directly on the gizmo right so what this means is you can like pull your move uh, gizmo and it will change the diameter if you hit the rotate button you will change like the angle and you can add all cool cool kinds of shapes so you see you can go pretty wild on this. Um, and now, for example, in this instance, I was working on it, and my instance is here. Um, yeah, it's been clustered in here, and I would like to just select it. Well, I made a button, like select editable instance, and now I can just move it around so we can keep these separate. If I revert, it will snap back to the original one, all right? Um, the bending um, and the X and Y axis, um, it all works out even if you rotate it like this. The only thing that will be different if your plane is standing up is this flatten button. So you see here, flatten. Um, if I turn it on and the plane is laying down, right, I bend. You see it's been flattened, right? Um, but if the plane is standing up and I bend, and you see he does the opposite. So if I, for example, uncheck flatten, now it will actually have a flattened mesh. This is because I can't really detect with the script um, how your plane is oriented. So if it's laying face down, um, it will kind of do the thing it says here, but it also works when your plane is standing up. So that's that should be no problem. Um, so again, Gizmo, everything works. And then you see that I just click this little update uh, bending button, right? So what this does um, is actually change some of the bending settings. So you need to revert if you want to, like, for example, add a duplication amount and change the axis, then you really need to revert, right? But when you, for example, just want to change your bending, then you can just hit the update bending button. Um, so, for example, um, I want this in a U shape. I can just update it, and then you see he does it, right? Now we see we have like some problems in here. Um, that's why I made these two parameters. So, what's actually the issue right here is that my corner size isn't big enough. So, um, if I, for example, make this 250, update bending, 
you see it's a better corner has enough uh, range to do the bending correctly so you can update these on the fly uh, for example I can make it have an L shape so update bending see and then we we can just change the corner size so if I for example change it to 50 then you see how much smaller my corner got so let's do 100 yeah, that's better um, so you can all do this on the fly um, I can change my corner offset for example if I want it more on one side I can for example add another hundred in here and then you see it's it's been more like uh, to one part like it's not in the center I mean uh, of my instances so now we have like one plane and then it's already bending here and then we have one too all right um, so let's go back and make O shape. The last one we have is like the invert button, right? So let me zero this. So what does the invert button do? Well, it's very simple. It inverts the mesh. So if I update it, now you see the bending has been done on the inside, right? Um, when you want to finish the script, you have uh, also an option to keep the instance on finish or not. So if I click it on and I press finish and you see this plane uh, stays here right uh, but if I don't then it will be deleted so for example let's do the same bend um, yeah bend right and I deselect the keep instance on finish um, and I hit finish and you see the plane is gone so just a little bit more freedom uh, for you guys to pick on so yeah um, hope you guys have a good time with the script um, I think it's pretty stable I've never had it uh, crash my max program I'm actually working with a mesh that has a turbo smooth collapsed on it and it's yeah, it's doing a pretty good job so of handling it so I think you guys should be fine um, if if there's any problems you can always email me um, uh, my email address is in the readme um, so yeah, hope you guys have fun and uh, keep bending on. <laughs>